Hello Stevies, welcome to the garage again. You guys have heard me complain about this windshield a lot. So I um I ordered another one. So I ordered a long ride windshield. Now I did open this already because the box was messed up. I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken inside. Okay, so I've already I already opened it to make sure that the windshield was okay. So this is the way that it comes out of the box. Four-handed. So this is the 20-inch windshield. This is the tallest one that they had in the Gold Series. It's just it's a little bit cheaper. I don't use my windshield all the time, guys, so I didn't get the real expensive one. That was supposed to be more of a non-scratch material. This is also a non-scratch material, but that's an even more non-scratch material, I guess. So, let's see, it does say do not over-tighten. 20 to 5 to 30 inch pounds. You'll notice it doesn't come with the hardware. I've got to take the hardware off the other windshield and then put it on this one. Okay, so what you're going to need to take this apart is these bolts are... A T27 Torx. Yes, T27. And then the acorn nuts on the other side of the T27 is a 3 8. Is the stock windshield taken off that you can barely see um, I cut it down because I had a low profile seat on there but now that I've got my lucky Dave seat this is way too short so the 20 inch with the recurve at the top should solve my problem okay so we can kind of tell I got the first pieces laid underneath there um, I am going to be putting blue Loctite on everything. So the old windshield, as you can see, ran, went down a little bit farther. And this one is that much taller with the recurve in it. So let's, uh, let's set it on the bike. I did want to point out this sticker though. That means everything. So there it is on the bike. It is quite a bit taller because my old one was as low as my handlebars. Okay, I'm gonna tr do my best here. This is perfect. I'm gonna try to tell you why. My old one was here. Feel that static? My old one was just as tall as my handlebars, okay? I'm gonna put the lens up at my eye level, okay? Which is right there. And as you can see, I just barely peek over the top of this windshield. Good lord though, look how big this flipping thing is. I do have a windshield bag that I might try to find. I took it off to put this on so that I could put my phone there. I dig the smoked look. I'm a big fan of the recurve. I had a recurve on my Ultra also. I'm a huge fan of the recurve. So I guess the only thing left to do is go try it. Well, here's the second half to this video. I don't know what to say other than the windshield is great. It's moving air around me just like it should. I mean, it's doing an awesome job to recurve in it, pushing air right up over the top of me. 
install was a snap. It was so easy. You take your old parts off, you put your new parts on, pay attention to where the bolts come out. There are different length bolts and don't over tighten them. That's a big thing. And they don't like windshield bags. Because I had this all put together and I thought, hmm, I'm going to put my windshield bag on. Put my windshield bag on. And it must have been the way that the windshield bag was too straight and rigid or something. And the way that it was pulling in on the windshield. But I cracked it. Brand new windshield and I cracked it. That's awesome feeling. It's still, it's there. A little crack right there. So Miss Stevie is sick today. She's not with me. Otherwise, we would be out at uh, the local Harley dealer because the demo truck is there. And, you know, we'd be riding some new bikes and stuff. But I'm not going to do that without her just because I think it would be a whole lot more fun with her. Um, so I do not feel air anywhere around here or right here. I got to think that that's because of that chrome visor that I put down there to project the air down I mean that's the only thing it can be right so that thing must work really well because there's no air here at all but I do start feeling air right here and then I feel air coming up right here just coming from the sides the windshield does help a lot it makes a big difference but I've got on some really long rides without the windshield and I was fine I don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I do know is that that bug would have hit me and that bug would have hit me Let's see if that crack grows if it doesn't grow I might just put a piece of scotch tape back there or something because you can feel it on the back but you can't feel it on the front so the thing that is not cool about it is that I'm not getting any air into my vents you know even up here I feel no air on the top of my helmet so if I open the vents I don't know why I didn't have them open already. I don't feel the air rushing through them like I usually do. Or up there. Or up there. But this is about what it used to be. I stick my head up. That's what sucked. But Okay, so I like it. Okay, I like the windshield. It's doing exactly what I bought it to do. I cracked it. Don't over tighten it don't put a windshield bag on it if you do leave that center screw really really loose I don't have this vent open that does help a little bit because I do feel air right here so that does help and with my ride tech with my ride tech mount on the front of my showy I can use my vent still my GoPro is not in the way the only thing is you got your camera checks make sure your GoPro is still working and it is so I was going to wear my Bell bullet helmet today, but I learned when I went down to see Miss Stevie at the All Women's Bike Festival thing down at Tecumseh that I can't motovlog in it. <laughs> it's so loud inside. Maybe this windshield would help that, but that's not a motovlogging helmet. That's just my, my awesome helmet is what it is. I love that helmet. It's horrible in every way. It's loud. You can't hardly hear anything. I put earphones in to hook up to my Senna so I can hear it because you sure as heck can't hear the speakers. But it's so comfortable on the inside. And it looks so cool. That is one of them helmets that I will have forever. Need to get some gas. We're in the low range. Three sixty four, man.
lot of interstate speeds, the bike is way more stable. Like I said, I've got to, you know, work it more to get it to do what I want it to do, but and before you had to turn, all I had to do was lean like this. I've actually got to put input into the handlebars now. I don't know if that's because of the recurve or what, but now I need taller handlebars. You know? The windshield is the right height, especially with this seat. If I put a lower seat on, windshield would be too tall. But this windshield is a 20 inch windshield, which is an inch over stock. The bike is definitely a lot louder. That's for sure. looking right here but my eyes are about a quarter of an inch right above this windshield so if it starts to rain I'm not looking through my windshield and through the visor on my helmet which I would much rather look through the windshield and the visor on my helmet than look through the windshield and look through the then look through the windshield and a pair of sunglasses <laughs> that always I still have a half helmet. I still wear it. I brought it with me because I'm going to check it out. This taller windshield, I'm going to check it out with my half helmet too. So speaking of that though, um, with this taller windshield the way that it is, I should be able to open up the visor on my helmet and not really feel much of a difference, right? Which RF 1400, shout out to that. I can open my visor with my left hand or my right hand. Yep, there it is all the way open. The sun's bright though. Let's put this down just a little bit so the sun's not in my eyes. And the road is bright and everything's really bright. I don't feel any wind on my face though. None. So super props to that, right? If I get hot, I can just open up my shield all the way. Or even halfway or ah, I need a visor for the Sun the Sun's bright I didn't even think there was gonna be any Sun out today but there that's much better that is one other nice thing about having a full face helmet if you get a tinted shield you have sunglasses all the way around your head there's another good way to look at it
All right, Stevie, so we've been here before. This is the Platte River. So the long ride windshield, this is the 20 inch windshield, which is a inch higher than stock. I said that before. That's because my seat sits up high. My Lucky Dave seat sits up pretty high. Um, I like it. It made a big difference. Still not a windshield fan, but I mean, I talked to Kelly and Stephanie Scott at Frontier Harley Davidson earlier and I told them too, it's like, you sit, you sit there and you look at your windshield and you think, well, that bug would have hit me. That bug would have hit me. That bug would have hit me, you know? So, I mean, it, it serves its purpose. Don't get me wrong. So, I think we're going to just go ahead and end this video here. I'm going to ride home. It's going to take me a little while to get home. Uh, like I said, Miss Stevie isn't feeling good, so I'm going to go ahead and and, uh, and get home. But as soon as cars stop driving by. So, remember, May 30th is the Great Plains Moto Ride. Um, Blacktop and I are putting it on. Uh, it'll be a good time. I rode part of that route today. Uh, the roads are looking good and everything. Come on, people. Really? I'm trying to vlog here. So this is actually part of the route for the Great Plains Moto Ride. Um, road heading up there that way. And right along the river here for a little bit. It's going to be a little bit kind of weird because we're just going to go up there and turn around and go back. So, oh, here's some more. Motor Keiko's coming. One more Motor Keiko coming. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Uh, more and more people are subscribing all the time. It's crazy. It's uh, channel's growing. Channel's growing pretty quick. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool. And we will see you on the road. I think to end the video, I'll throw the camera.